There is a word from the Lord. There is a word from the Lord. I want you to go with me to St. Matthew, the 26th chapter. And we're going to start with verse 36 through 40. And I'm going to be reading through it in the King James Version. Matthew, the 26th chapter. We're going to start with the 36th verse. Amen. Amen. And when you get there, let me know by saying amen. 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 Then come Jesus with them unto a place called Gethsemane, mm -hmm. and said unto the disciples, Sit ye here while I go and pray yonder. And he took with him Peter and the two sons of Zippity, which is James and John. Mm -hmm and began to be sorrowful and very heavy. Then said he unto them, My soul is exceeding sorrowful, yes. even unto death. Right. Tarry ye here, and watch with me. All right. And he went a little farther, and fell on his face, and prayed, yes. saying, O oh my father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. Mm -hmm. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as thou wilt. Yes. And he came unto the disciples and found them asleep. And said unto Peter, What? Could ye not watch with me one hour? If I will give this a text, this scripture a text, I will say, you have to go through it to get to it. All right. Jesus had to go through it to get to it. All right. Amen. Amen. The first of this year, we were going to be having our own New Year's resolution all right. that we always make year after year. <laughs> we might say that we're going to lose weight this year. Okay. Or we might say we won't have a healthy lifestyle change without eating. But whatever it is, we got to go through it uh -huh. to get to all it. Right, all right, all right. We lose weight, we got to go through a process. Yeah. It doesn't happen naturally. We got to change some things, right? Yeah, right. But we got to go through it to get to it, the weight loss. All right. So... With this text, I believe it was Jesus' darkest night of his life in the Garden of Gethsemane. He knew that very soon he will be put to death. All right. The wrath of God will be poured out on him as a substitution for us. Mm -hmm. You have to understand that this was Jesus, the begotten Son of God, who knew no sin mm -hmm. and become sin for all of us. The supreme being, the all-powerful, almighty, yes. all-knowing, the anointed one, yes. the Christ, the one who healed the sick, yes. the one who raised the dead, gave sight to the blind, cast out demons, made the lame man walk, come to see. This is Jesus Christ, the son of the highest. Jesus had been there with the Father, and the Father had been with him. Uh -huh. To save the world and complete his mission, he had to be separated from his Father. Uh -huh. You see, Jesus had never experienced the wrath of God. His Father was always with him. Jesus had to allow himself to drink of the cup, which meant being separated from his father. His father had to turn back his turn his back on his son to save the world. Yes. Jesus said, My soul is exceeding sorrowful, uh -huh. even unto death. Yes. Have you ever felt the same way in some much severe mental and emotional pain and overwhelmed with anxiety? Your man cannot think, and you feel sad as if you 
were about to die. Mm -hmm. Jesus had to go through it to get to it. Yeah. Jesus was stand condemned in our place. Yeah. He would suffer and die and experience the wrath of God. Yeah. Jesus was not afraid to die. He was so sorrowful that he had to be separated from the Father. He suffered for us. He suffered with such agony and pains for us so that we are healed or so that we are saved. This was Jesus' mission. And he went through it to get to it, the finish. We have a mission for our life to complete. All right. We know the mission God has for us to know the mission of God for us. We have to go through it to get to it. The first point of getting to that mission is believing. Amen. Amen. John 3.16 tells us, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, and whosoever Amen. believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Amen. Believing is the starting point of the relationship with God. Amen. Believers cannot have a personal relationship with God unless they believe he loved them so much that he sacrificed his only begotten son to Amen. save them. Amen. This belief is the foundation in which our Christian life should be based upon. We should be inspired and willing to obey God's commandments. Yeah. Believe me, it's getting to know Jesus. Amen. Who is this man Jesus who died on the cross for our sins? Yeah. Jesus, the begotten son. Mm -hmm. Jesus, who said, trust me. Jesus said that I am the bread of life. Yeah. And if you eat of me, you shall never hunger anymore. Yeah. Jesus, the living waters. He said, if you drink of me, you shall not thirst anymore. Right. We have to have a desire to seek him. Uh -huh. right. Matthew 6, 33 tells us, to seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. You have to seek God's kingdom and his righteousness. That leads me to the next point. Pray and persevere. Pray means to petition God for direction and persevere. Persevere is to have faith and trust God while you are running the race to get to the prize, which is eternal life. Jude 1, 20 tells us, But you, mm -hmm. dear friends, build yourself up in the most holy faith and pray yes. in the Holy Spirit. Yes. Our Father knows exactly what we need. Yes. And he will give us the wisdom and the knowledge. Amen. To have wisdom and knowledge, we have to delight ourselves in the word of God. Yes. St. John 1, 1 tells us, in the beginning was the word. Yes. And the word was with God. Yes. And the word was God. Yes. You need to get begin getting some word in you. Yes. So Holy Spirit can transform your situation and activate the kingdom of God that is within you so you can get through it. So you can get to it. Right. What do you mean, Sister Lad? Activate the kingdom within you. Right. If you if you read the word of God and get more of the word of God within you, you begin to activate the kingdom, the kingdom of God within you. You begin to stir up the gift that yes. is within you, Lord. and you will know and you will awaken the spirit of God Lord. that has for you. You Lord. have to get through it. To get to it. If you eat of the word of God and fill your belly up with it, the Holy Spirit will come in and attack those issues of life that hinders you to persevere. The word of God will help you go through those trials and tri trials and tribulations of pains that affect your walk with God. God's call may lead through unbearable pain. When you are in such pain, we need the strength of others present. That's why Jesus asked his disciples, 
his friends because he yeah. believed they were his friends. Yeah. Peter, James, and John in his last hour before he go to the cross. Jesus does not complain, but he does ask for support in prayer yes. uh -huh. and find strength for our mission in God alone. Yes. No matter what the pain, we must obey the mission that God has given us. Amen. Uh -huh. Jesus has lived his life in obedience to his Father's will. Now he chose to he chose the Father's plan over our over, over his own desires. Yes, Jesus' obedience is an example for us all. Yes. Loving God does not always mean that we want to go through the mission that God calls us to all right. go through. It means that we choose to go through it yes. anyway. Jesus now surrenders his destiny to the Father. Yet even in his surrender, he remains in control. Only his own words will allow his accusers to condemn him. Jesus had to go through it to get to it. As you see, he said Jesus allowed his accusers to condemn him. You got to understand, he was almighty. He healed the blind. He healed the sick. Amen. He raised the lame man. He raised Amen. the dead. Yes. He was all powerful. All he had to do was speak. That's right. And it was done. Uh -huh. So he allowed his accusers to go through yes. it. Yes. To condemn him. He allowed himself to go to the cross for all of us. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Jesus had to go through it to get to it. Yes. My next point is praise. Be careful not to let the enemy make make it look like what you're going through. Right. Pull yourself up, to, pull yourself together. And remember that you are a child of God. Yes. Instead of having a pity party, what is, about what is wrong with you? Ask yourself, what is right with me? This will allow you to think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he has done for you and you begin to have a praise party with yourself. When you look around, you see people and you don't know what, any idea what they're going through. All you think of is everything that what I'm going through. The reason why you haven't gone crazy is because you remember the promises of God. Tell yourself and make it personal. That I can do all things through Christ to strengthen me. God will supply all my needs according to his riches and glory. God will perform a good work in me and I will be faithful to complete it. Be not weary or well doing. I shall reap if I faint not. Weeping may endure for a night but joy comes in the morning. God's promises have been proven. In other words, there is nothing that we are going through that we can find examples in the Bible. Amen. Right. Thank you, Lord. Ask Joe, who can testify that God will give you double for your trouble. Yes, Isaiah will say, wait upon the Lord and he yes. shall renew your strength. Yes. Nehemiah will say, the joy of the Lord is my strength. Uh, thank you, Lord. you have to make it personal. Yes. You have to go through it to get to it. Uh, right. We have to turn our complaints into praise. We complain about everything the devil is trying to throw in our life. We got a habit of accepting things as they are. All right. We accept the fact that we are sick. Yes. The fact that we are sick. Yes. We accept the fact that we are broke. Yes. We just accept everything that life throws at us. The power is in our praise. Yes. Praise God for what, for what is going on on the other side. Yeah. We praise God even though we don't have the breakthrough yet. Yeah. Philippians 4, 8 tells us, finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, yeah. whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, yeah. if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think of these things. Yes. Yet, 
means nevertheless. Uh-huh. Praise God, even though we are in it. Yeah. We are going through it, praising God, and we are coming out of it, praising God. No matter what happens, we praise God anyway. Yeah. Remember, there is a reason for what we are going through. Uh -huh. You have to go through it to get to it. And that leads me to family surrender. Jesus said, nevertheless, not as I will, but as thou will. Jesus went through it to get to it, the finish. Continue in prayer. Yeah. And give thanksgiving unto the Lord. Yeah. Call on his name. Yeah. Make known of his works among people. Yeah. Help them remember his name in glory. Yeah. Sing praises to the Lord for he has done great things. Yeah. Let this be known in all the earth. Yeah. Nevertheless, Nevertheless, surrender all to God. Mm -hmm. yeah. But not as I will. Let it be as God's will. Uh -huh. Lead the prayers in his hands. Yes. Pleading, honestly, persistently, yes. yet with humility and acceptance, yes. you too will say, it is finished. Yes. And stand before the throne of God and Glory. say, and Glory. hear him say, well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. go through yes. to get to it. Hallelujah. The finish. We all have the cross. We all have an assignment. Hallelujah. We all have a mission. Yes. We got to go through it to get to it. Right. I was going to sing, but <laughs> and it said, wherever, I'm going to say it, wherever you lead me, Lord, I will follow. Yes. That's how you got to make it personally. Wherever you lead me, Lord, yes. I will follow. Yes. Yes. And you have to say, I go, no matter what the circumstances yes, are. Lord. I go, yes. no matter what the sickness that's in my body, yes, I still Lord. will go, no matter what I'm going through. I still will go, even though I'm going through a broken heart, even though I'm going through all kinds of sickness and diseases, I will go. Even though I got tragedy in my house, I will go. Yeah. Even though I'm just going through all kinds of things and I'm going crazy just thinking about what's going on in my life. Yeah. Keep your eyes on the prize. Yes, yes, Keep Jesus first, just yeah. like Mary yeah. did in our Sunday school lesson. She gave God praise. Yeah. Praise Him for all yeah. things. Yeah. Yeah. Praise Him in all things. Uh -huh. Praise Him in, in tragedy in our family. Praise him when you don't know nothing else to do but praise God. I got to go through it to get to it and that's the finish. And here, my Savior, my Jesus, a G of God, say, well done, my faithful servant. Well done. Amen.